Another nonprofit organization that supports homeless teens is asking for help after hitting a record number on the waiting list. Covenant House of Georgia has a plan and a new place, but there's still a need for funding. LaVie Farrell has been in and out of foster care her entire life. Until about a month ago, the 20-year-old had nowhere to stay. So I couch surf, been homeless, living in abandoned houses, and... Farrell is one of hundreds of young people between the ages of 18 and 21 who waited for an opportunity to get into Covenant House, a crisis center that provides shelter, health, and educational services for homeless youth. One of the biggest questions I'm asked is how does a young person end up homeless? And there's so many reasons why. Kids can be kicked out of the home because of a break in the, fa break in the family. Um, many of them have already endured years of abuse and neglect. And, and then they end up at 15, 16, 17 years old living out on the streets. When I first came down here, initially I was staying on the street. I was living on the streets. Michael Hardwick also waited weeks for a spot at Covenant House. The 19-year-old is taking business classes at a local college, but until recently had nowhere to sleep. At Covenant House Georgia, we currently have a 15-bed crisis facility, but have 20 to 25 kids a night sleeping in our shelter. That's another 10 kids per night sleeping on mats on the floors. Um, at the same time, we have an average of 140 kids on a waiting list trying to get in and receive our services. Um, we anticipate that there's, there's currently four bedrooms that will start with four per bedroom. The organization recently bought this new facility on Johnson Road in northwest Atlanta. Here, they can serve close to 100 teens. They're in the process of launching a campaign to raise nearly $4 million to pay for this building and renovations. They're also counting on another resource to help them raise funds. Well, Almost Home, which is a book that I wrote with Tina Kelly, tells the story of six amazing young people across Canada and the United States who faced really unspeakable violence and abuse and abandonment, and as teenagers were homeless, but because of the stubborn and sometimes radical acts of kindness from strangers, because of Covenant House, they went on to do amazing things. I think it's important for the public to come to understand the stories in this book and the people that they represent, because without understanding them, they won't be inspired to help them necessarily. All proceeds from the sale of the book, Almost Home, will go directly to Covenant House and help pay for the 60 crisis beds and 24 transitional living beds in the new space. It's so amazing to see the volunteers, hundreds of them, who've come in the last several weeks to help landscape and paint and refurbish our new campus so that this can be a beautiful, welcoming home for young people in this community. Whatever you want to do is right there. Like, it, you, you got hope. It's, it's 10 times better than this, and this is even a blessing itself, so, I mean. For more information on Covenant House, visit our website for a link.